Right, I'm going to carry on with a West Country theme, Darts Moor. A beautiful area of outstanding natural beauty. There's a national park, this is uh, Exmoor, Bodmin Moor in the West Country. This county, or this is in the county of Devon. Uh, it's very rocky. So we'll put in a sky. I'm going to wear the paper all over. I'm going to carry on with the Payne's Grey and Alyssa and Crimson for this sky, for these clouds. But I'm going to, I'm going to do a streaky one, but I won't be answering that. Okay, so I'll, I'll warm the whole painting up with a, a wash of uh, raw sienna. And I see, and this is getting a little bit older, sienna. It's not such a saturated colour as the alizarin and light red. But anyway, I'll just put it, put it in. Ron Manson used to just go over the whole lot with the raw sienna, but. I prefer just to whack it on like that. And that, that will expand. Now I'm going to put some blue, blue in, but I want streakiness on this one. Right, okay. Now with um, some alizarin crimson, I'll mix those three those colours together. And a bit of Payne's grey. Bit of water, keep the brush, the hairs together. Bit, bit of blue in with that. Right, let's have a go. Right, and we'll put a blue is quite a good mixing with the Payne's grey and the Lizarum. A bit heavier here. Okay, so that that will do for that. I'm, the card is going to play quite a an important role in this painting. Take the excess off my brush. You need a large piece of cloth handy to soak up the excess water from your from your hake. Persevere with the hake, those of you that are trying, don't quit. It, it, you usually tend to quit just before you do something good. That is if you, when you're a beginner. A lot of people give up long before then, which is a pity because um, you're, we're not born with this ability, it's something that is learnt over, over the years. Right, I'm going to put it in a background. I'm, I'm going to, I'm copying a, a free painting, a free photograph, and I'm just doing my thing with it. I don't really, I don't like copying slavishly. I, I like to, to do my own thing. So we'll, we'll uh, put this peak in, it needs to be a bit stronger than that. So peek there, down we come, to there. Now we've got some fields of uh, closely cropped gla grass, grass. Oh, we'll just bring those in. Maybe the colours, there will be some darker. Patches on there. In. And then we'll vary some colour, we'll put some warmer colours in there. I'll use a bit of burnt sienna for that, a bit of raw sienna as well. 
Let's do this. See the paper's wet so everything will tend to merge. And there are lots of rocks in this foreground. There's a bit of red in with the mix. And over this I'm going to superimpose some rocks and lighter grasses. Some pure colour. Well, sort of. Oh, I'll, I'll do the, the detail later. So a nice lot of grass is coming up here. And into that I can put in my rocks and all sorts. Now I'm uh, so I'm going to carry across here and we've got the tour coming. Darmos has a number of uh, tours there, they're huge outcrops of rock, well let's say huge is relative to England or Britain not America, I mean, nothing small here. Right, so we'll, we'll have some nice, rich colours in these rocks, warm, but dark. You need dark to scrape out, otherwise, when you scrape it, everything will be too, too light. Right, so, uh -huh. That's a really good thick colour. Now comes right across here. Bit on the wet side because if it dries too quick, you won't be able to to scrape out. It doesn't want to dry, and you'd have to you'd have to re-wet it and loosen up everything. Some ochres, warm. I keep calling it ochre, but I mean raw sienna. Grasses coming up here. Well, that, that's enough to contend with for the moment. Going to be quick because the paint will dry. Right, here we go. Card. rocks are stratified. Right, let's just clip the paper. You can, of course, paint everything with a brush. This is a, a much easier and quicker way of, of doing it. It's going to be painting. I am copying. So 
well, roughly copy, just, just a guide. So I just put in some some grasses there. Just an impression of okay. Now we need to do some some work on that distance. Now, now it's dried off a little bit. I'll give the impression that uh, well, there are no fields on there. This is all very rough, broken ground. This is a very rough part of uncultured, other than uh, that uncultured landscape. It's not. It has man's footprint all over it, more sheep. Alright, then we'll release some clumpy, greeny stuff now. Blue, no, plain grey, lemon yellow. Bit of warm, more uh, burnt sienna. I'll mix a bit of blue in with that. Oops. We give this impression of of longer longer grass here. Just by dragging the hay cup. And we've got this darker clumps. In the shadow of, of the grass. Darker, yeah, mm. in the shadowy depth. Mm, phone's ringing, the door's going. All right, so we uh, Used a, a dryish hake. Yeah. Then we want some bluer yellows or greens just on oh, this. Oops. I can't put too much detail on it here, this is distance, but I can put some clumpy bits of gorse or heather going off into this distance here. And some greeny blue. The way that the uh, the land is going, a bit too dark there, so we just soften that a bit. Okay. So I've got this bluish tip on the top still showing and I've got warmer as I've come down. Now I do need some some more dark in that grass, foreground grass. So I'm mixing yellow, oh I'm mixing all the yellow, look, nice. Thick rich paint, so I've got the shadow in here.
and some really dark greens. In here. But on a warm side as well because we're in, in the foreground here so we want warm darks. So I'm just mixing Payne's Grey with a bit of red. Just dragging the hike. So this will really anchor the foreground. Right, okay. Uh, the, the one or two little stumpy tweaks that are sticking up here and there, so we'll better put them in because they're, they're bits of bits of detail in the landscape, just little little bits. more than that really. Not too many of them. Good to preserve your colour recession, your aerial recession, going from warm colours to to the, the bluer colours. Now I reckon we can afford to put uh, a figure or two in there. Get my figure brush. Bit of blue, bit of red. Just colours that will show up really. So let's uh, put quite a reasonable size figure here. Just behind the rock there. Walker. I was very, very popular for walking, and you wouldn't want to be out on a cold night, that's for sure. That's uh, another one here. Uh, make it a bit lower. Just a bit, and it's a bit, a little bit of the interest. I don't want to do any more rocks there, but uh, probably we could just do some more little figures coming up here. Oops. in the grass. It's connected his head to his body there. Uh, those figures did seem just a little bit insistent, a little bit thick, a little bit to overpower. But his head was just a little bit too obvious. Okay, that, that will do. I'll sign it. Have a go at these things yourself. There are loads and loads and loads of thousands of pictures on the internet. But what you mustn't really do is to copy them. Just use them as an idea and develop your own painting from them. Otherwise, apart from copyright infringement, although they don't own the view, the view is there for all to see, but you should be able to make up your own landscapes now, as this is very much a made up one. Um, I've some, got to have some blades. Okay, I'll put it in the mount. Well, these sorts of things you can just do with your brush and brush have fun, that's what I do. I do we are. 
another Dartmoor painting, probably a little bit muddy again. But hey, we're working fast and furious. So there we are, another Dartmoor scene. Let's bring the camera around and you can have a good shafty at it. So we've got the figures, they're very important to give scale to that large outcrop of rock. But also the figure on the right connects the right left hand side with the right. Uh, let's go a bit closer to so you can see what I've actually done in these rocks. Look, slabby, which is how they are. Probably not quite as regular, but but how long did they take to do? The art with them is to keep the paint wet, but thick but wet, so that when you scrape it, it goes back to the paper almost, and you get these lovely highlights. Any questions? Just have a leave a comment. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.